They're gonna show it first. Who designed this contraption? What hey. is its purpose? Hey. You know, that doesn't make much sense, IRL. Game theory, did Crash Bandicoot design all these levels to kill himself? <laughs> Crash is suicidal. <laughs> Look at his dumb head. Don't let him out. Why is Crash's friend a little floating mass? Voiced by Billy and Mandy. Game theory, is Crash Bandicoot's mask actually playing from Ed and Eddie? Game theory, is Crash Bandicoot actually Billy and Mandy in the same body? <laughs> Dude, yes. I finally get it. Crash's mask is the prequel to Ed and Eddie's but Crash's plank. mask is actually Crash from the future. He was embedded into each plank of wood. <laughs> each feather represents a memory. Game theory, who placed all these boxes around for Crash to find apples in? Could it be Bowser from other video game? <laughs> Did Pappy Roos and Sands put Crash Bandicoot up, in Undertale? Because after all, he's Ness. Did you ever notice that Crash is an anagram for... Sark? It's an anagram for Rash, see? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, I almost <laughs> spat everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> Rash! <laughs> it's like, see food. You're gonna do which level? That's why he has the slide in this game, because he's giving himself a rash. Game theory, is this the future of the film Ratatouille? Does Ratat is Ratatouille patient zero for these <laughs> Ratatouille? No, no it's is about the mouse that falls in the tomato bisque and then it dies, right? Now, now you're pull now you're pulling Ratatouille canon into Radigan. I don't know. Oh, I, well, the must have I guess they're all Disney the properties. Character that that declares that all rat based media occurs not only in the same universe, but that universe is Earth. Really quick asterisk. So you mean the same Rativerse, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Radiverse. Everything in the Radiverse is actually a future Earth. Tomer. Yeah, the extended. Did you guys Earth see what uh, Game Theory did this week? Oh, the who who would survive the coronavirus in video games? And it's Mario and Link in a uh, in <laughs> fucking mask. Do you That's think maybe definitely in bad taste? Yeah. Like, do, you, I, do you think maybe that map that guy might not fucking understand how to be a human being? And then they changed it. I think that's genuinely in bad taste. You could do it in like a year. People were like, "What the now. fuck is wrong with you?" And then he changed it, and he just censored out the word coronavirus. And it's like, what? no, that's not why people were mad. You fucking idiot. People it's were mad that you're theorizing <laughs> on. Uh, people are actually gonna die from it. Not, yeah. not that Luigi would die He's from the coronavirus. Such a twat. You moron. <laughs> would Mario survive longer than your grandma? Not yeah. likely. Yeah, yeah, your mother- your grand- your grandmother who's got diabetes and hypertension would definitely not last as long as Luigi, who definitely has a super high jump. <laughs> <laughs> By examining the hairs on Mario's mustache, we can kind of conclude that Mario would survive the coronavirus. Mario would not, dude. He's like in his 40s. He's Italian, by the way. He's got to deal with Italy's healthcare system. They yeah, got, he's got they he, got swabbed immediately. Yeah, they got swabbed immediately. He's got probably got his probably his hypertension. I bet money Mario has hypertension. He's clearly overweight. He's short. Uh, I mean, just given what what kind of food does he? Although eat? we do know that he gets a lot of exercise. He, run, he runs it. around a he lot, does, but I don't, yeah. his cardiovascular health. I I because of his weight, I just can't see. No, I I, I see Mario as like fat buff, like those like bodybuilder dudes. Like, Al yeah, like Alex he's Jones. He's like a lumberjack or like Alex Jones. No, <laughs> no, like, not like Alex Jones. Why would you go for like, Alex I, Jones? I think I think I think if, Ma if Mario were gonna have a live action movie, I think Alex Jones would play him. I did what? And I think I think Joaquin <laughs> Phoenix from the Joker, like that skinny, that size, would play Luigi, his brother. I can, okay, I can see that one. Can, uh, Alex, Alex Jones, Jones and Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. You, you you could see that. You could see the the, I, I, the, the poster wait, wait, that wait, says wait, wait, Alex stop, Jones stop, just, and Joaquin Phoenix. Picture in your head in silence for three seconds and come back to me right now. <laughs> All right, see, so I, I win. He does kind of win. I, I, I'm not giving you that. That, that absolutely works. Alex Jones and then Bowser's ever, played by uh, John Goodman. That would works. I'd be okay with the, with a John Goodman Bowser. See, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get you. I'm starting to peel you off. You're <laughs> never gonna sell me on Alex Jones as, <laughs> as as an actor. You want to talk about Chuck? I guess that's the last piece of web culture I've kept up with. Chuck E. Cheese was streaming. He had a little puppet, <laughs> and he said Poggers. <laughs> But it's really weird, you have to see the video itself. It's really it's funny. It's that he's like feeling out the room, like he's looking around nervously the way he's being puppeted, his mouth is kind of flapping a bit. Yeah. He takes a deep breath, you can kind of hear him gasping, and he just goes, POGGERS! <laughs> and then he starts whimpering. He goes, 
And he puppets the mouth to go with it. And I don't know what it is. I don't know why he does it. Because he doesn't know what to say it's next. It's not the game. He's, His he's mouth struggling. Moves. He's whimpering. He's struggling to think of things like, to say because he's lying to the do screen. that. Uh, I don't know if he knows what it meant. As if, like... He, that was dangerous that he just said that. <laughs> he's, he's, he's thinking, oh my god. Like, everyone fired. was encouraging him to say it, and he finally did it, and now he doesn't know what he just unleashed. I, I imagine the, like, the 80s Chuck E. Cheese with the big fat head. No, it's the new one, at least. No, the, 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 the 80s one looks funnier. He the does. The cool young rocker. The little, the little <laughs> he made him Jewish. That's how he said I'm his, not exaggerating. His is one spot for on. one, he goes, Pongish! <laughs> That's how he says it. It's really funny. <laughs> Look it up on your phone right now. Edit, Look it up. Just My edit, phone died. Edit the clip in and it's... <laughs> your impression's so funny. It's what he does! It's what he does. <laughs> I think you should be a voice actor. Yeah, for Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, can you do a pathetic <laughs> moan after saying it? <laughs> What is the kids this? really like that. They like their awkward humor, you know? <laughs> their self-loathing humor, that's the thing they're into. <laughs> Can guess. you make Chuck E. Cheese really sad, that's make jokes not, about how, you know, uh, pathetic he is? That's not wrong, that's what the, that's what the millennials like. <laughs> Huggers! <laughs> <laughs> What the, <laughs> what the fuck would they do that? <laughs> Make sure to say Parker. <laughs> I like it. Uh, he says uh, it at a point in the game that it doesn't. It doesn't fit. Yeah. He says, yeah, there's he says nothing it as like the mini screen is load. The mini game is loading. Parker. <laughs> <laughs> <Bugger. laughs> why is that so funny? He missed his window. That's why he screams it. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> too late, Chuck. Too late. You missed it. I feel bad for him. His uh, his musical career didn't take the off. The fact he whimpers right after it, ma it makes <laughs> it seem like someone's like, "You better say Poggers." No, oh, like, people, like people in the chat were begging for it or something. <laughs> say uh, Poggers. Do you guys really want me to say it? I don't know what it means. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna get in trouble for this. Ever. Everyone subscribe to the Chuck E. Cheese Twitch. <laughs> I would. He's playing the Zelda music. This is a long lost sequel. If only there were some some YouTube channel that would perhaps create Theor theories. Theorize. Uh, yes, as to <laughs> as to why there was a, a flute. Sting I'd give there. that guy a pat on the back. Call it video game speculations. <laughs> I would have said something funny in response, but my brain is slow today. <laughs> <laughs> my brain fell out. My brain fell out of my ears when I was taking well, a shit. What if really inside we are all red and we just can't see it? Well, that is true, Chris. What if what if inside we are Freddy Fazbear? What if Freddy Fazbear ran up ran up to you? What if I was Freddy Fazbear? Game theory. <laughs> Game theory. What if I am Freddy Fazbear? Boo! You're improving your uh, your uh, imitation, Chris. Thanks. Annotation. Ah! My impression? Man, yeah. That was a good job. He does that news voice. Today on the news, yeah. everyone died. <laughs> except just, for me. <laughs> just on the news? Ex How about that? Except for me. But that's just a theory. No, it's actually the news. Julian, what do you think of the uh, the ground? It has circles in it? Uh, I like polka dots a lot. I guess those are not technically polka dots, right? Polka dots, I think, are... Evenly spaced. Are they? Why are they called that? Uh, I assume that at some point, polka dots were on fabric used in things that you played polka with. Mm. Maybe. Stop making faces at me, Ding Dong, and maybe <laughs> I, say I, something. I, I think it's interesting. It's an interesting theory. That's a game theory. A game theory, Loco Roco's bad, and then two weeks later, Loco Roco's good. <laughs> then two weeks later, Loco Roco's. Oh my god. Good or bad? Yeah, the latest game theory I've seen on the YouTube front page was Would Sonic uh, survive his own speed? Is that an actual game theory video? Yeah. Or is that from like no, that's one an of actual the one. millions and millions of people who are doing theory videos? No, now? no, no. It's, it's an official one. Okay. It's like, probably not. No. I have not. It's a fucking cartoon. <laughs> what if all the floating platforms in Mario fell down simultaneously <laughs> because they couldn't float in real life? 
I just don't understand it. He wouldn't do that. The theory would be what's the justification for them floating there. And he would say that it's like, oh, the, the, they're held up by the willpower of the, 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 the items. No, he, he, he would say that uh, it, it's that uh, the spirits of yeah, that's what I, the fallen Koopas inhabit you know them. That each, How horrible and every, dark this game every, truly was. Every question mark block you hit used to be a person. Because you know it's Mario said in the original Super the Mario manual. And... That uh, all the blocks you, in the Mushroom you, Kingdom were actually them, toads, and toads, and their souls and are trapped in the blocks. Their, their is this fun, everybody? Is keeping them you afloat. enjoying my theory? Uh, you guys want to read the walls? I don't think uh, we've read the walls. You guys want? You guys want to stop this recording and watch the wall review by the Nostalgia Critic on YouTube? <laughs> Why would you, well, now I do. Why would you bring that up? Uh, we were all having a good time. I actually was looking at it earlier. I, I hadn't seen it in a few months, and I thought, how's this doing? That's it probably the most, like, criticism he's ever gotten for, for yeah, doing I something. Think, yeah. The weird thing is it's not even... It's weird. It's it's not, like, the worst video he's ever made. It's just the weirdest one by far. Yeah. I mean, like, there's a lot of effort that clearly went into it. That's the weird part I, I about it. I think it's the like worst that is part of what makes it bad. The whole... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He's trying. He's trying to one up Pig Floyd. That's why it's. The, I mean, I don't, let's not go. He's into this like too shitting much. all over them while while acting like he's better than them. That's probably. But he also doesn't get it. He he just yeah. mis completely misunderstood the whole point of the album. It's like what you said when he watches Shrek or something. He literally doesn't get. It's like, dude, you're not even. It's not even a high IQ thing to get Shrek, but he, he <laughs> for some reason there's some stuff he cannot figure out. It's like when I look I at like rocket science. I'm like, I don't understand this. When was the last time you looked at rocket science? <laughs> yeah, really gave it a chance. Good point. Tomer, just poked a, Tomer just poked a glary hole in your little theory there, Chris. I, your little... I guess it is pretty well, easy. I, I picked up rocket science like a weekend, I think. Tomer, whatever Astro... happened to your skeptic channel? My yeah, skeptic you channel? You yeah. debugged you debug Christianity and you debugged SJWs for it's like true. five I years. I did it all with 100% <laughs> pinpoint accuracy and they YouTube took me down because I was doing it too well. It, like the Vatican was calling them every day, and like there's a whole thing. Oh, well, you're, you, I mean, you're, you're, under, a you're through that account called the oh, the, 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 the pondering llama, where it was you it was you <laughs> the llama with, with, a, with a fedora, and you'd float on, you'd float on screen up and that down, you'd bob up and down. Surreal. The pondering llama. Oh, no. We have we have proof that the giant humans are real. You know, like oh, fifty damn. foot tall skeletons in brains oh, and that so on. The, the classic like uh, <laughs> the Google image of the, the, the fucking scam of, of the of, giant like, skeleton the, scam. <laughs> Yeah, like, like, yeah. I think that's I been debugged that. only like a trillion yeah, of times. Of course it is. It's a oh, fucking God, I, 12. And it comes back every fucking week. Oh, there's a spinner down there. Where are you? I read on? some fucking crazy take on Facebook or something, and it was like. Shit, what was it? It was that tectonic plates Fuck. weren't real. And they were just <laughs> oh, oh, giant. Dude, there's, there's a conspiracy <laughs> that's um, moving around. There's a conspiracy that the Earth does not have. Uh, moving tectonic plates, but that the Earth is growing in size. So there's a conspiracy that there's no Sorry, tectonic I, I, plates. Correct me. There's there's a conspiracy that the tectonic plates have not moved apart, but oh, that the Earth fuck. is growing in size. Like it's just it's growing between, up. It's hitting puberty. Between no, like literally, it, imagine you're filling a balloon. The Earth itself is literally growing, which is put, but the continents are the same size. What's in the middle of it that's making it grow? Uh, What's I, the I justification for these hot takes other than people just wanting it's to come up with the well, new it's theory? The, it's the same justification that you get when you just when you're ten years Ooh. old and you look at the continents and you say, hey, they fit together. Look up the growing Earth. Or look up. <laughs> can you actually? Can whoever's editing this? Can you put up a clip of a YouTube video? There is a kind of conspiracy of silence among certain scientists. They know, but are not telling you, that the upper tectonic plates of Earth also join in the Pacific. Not partially, they join totally. You are asked to believe that the continents swim or drift about willy-nilly, bumping and crashing as if they were on a grease skillet. This is not true. You're free to say no if it collides with your beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've definitely seen a lot of things about giants, like that there used to be giants. Oh yeah, there's a lot of giant stuff out yeah, there. Yeah, and it's and it's obvious. It's 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 backed up by the Bible, don't you know, Lyle? Yeah, because and, of, and, because and, of that line about Nephilim that everybody won't fucking let go of. Right, and then there's uh, there's See, the band. This, this they is a, this is a preview giants. of the Padre Lava right here. This is <laughs> so oh, Padre Lava. Lava. <laughs> you fucking idiot! Of course the boy was not real. <laughs> giants? Are you fucking stupid? This tour before he moved to the U.S. or the U.K. <laughs> That's true. Oh, I, was, I was just a really upset British guy in another life. Yeah. With a framed picture of Christopher Hitchens on your the wall. The peeved off Brit. I'm the movie reviewing Brit, and this movie sucks. 
We give it the classic <laughs> five rotten eggs out of ten rotten eggs. <laughs> <laughs> looks nice, I'll give it that. So, Zach, you think that looks... Nice, huh? Even though these game- these- the game makers are the 20th anti semitic I gotta give this game points so far. Is, is that a real thing? <laughs> no! It, it is now. No, it's not! <laughs> <laughs> Don't say shit like that. To Tomo's eyes started fucking blinking red like the other giant when he heard that. Is Juno went crazy. You don't have a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Now it's fucking dark. Now it you're in the park, pitch right? Pitch black. Number 15. Number five. Some people think that Slender is maybe a made up, but you what, hear do you, that? what do you think? You, you know his worst video ever? Uh-huh. He did the uh, top 15, uh, most, like, like, biggest figures, like, historical figures that I hate. He was like, number one, Martin Luther King Jr. I thought a lot of the movie was bullshit. Did he really? Yeah, he's <laughs> like, I, definitely did, making that I did up. not like, I did not support the civil rights movement to the You're 1960s. You're such an asshole. You Zach loves to paint like pe random people as bigots. <laughs> <laughs> Lyle, by the way, this is just to confront you. You gotta stop sending me videos uh, allegedly showing Michelle Obama's penis. I don't, I don't care. I don't believe it. I'm sick of the conspiracies. I'm sick of the crap. Yeah, I'm, sick I'm, of ju I'm just look. I'm not proclaiming anything. I don't I'm care. Just, it, she it's stepped mighty, on the curb. I don't it's care. It's mighty interesting. It's just a little bit interesting. It's just kind of coincidental. I don't, I don't know. believe it anymore. <laughs> if you were taking a shower one morning and then your your neighbor, let's let's say you're not. One of your neighbors who lives above you. Yeah. You're taking a shower and suddenly a pair of legs no clip through the, the <laughs> ceiling and they're dangling above you and violently shaking, going. <laughs> <laughs> like in Gmod. Yeah. What would you do? <laughs> um, I wouldn't touch them because I feel like they'd break my arm. No, um, I would go straight to the authorities. <laughs> Arrest this woman. Her legs are stuck in my ceiling. I'd, I'd call the police and say something really fucking weird's happening. And, and okay. you should come check it out. They come and try to handcuff her, and then they get thrown around and they start ragdolling around the room. <laughs> Did they die? Their, their eyeballs fly like three feet in front, and then it just starts. Their eyes pop out of their head, like yeah. in the ISIS like, videos. Not, not like bloody. Like I mean, like you know, it's it's all digital. Like it's their their eyes are hovering. Like three feet in front of their head. And I would assume the that I'm either dreaming or that the world is a simulation. They turn into rag dolls and they have like sphere shaped hitboxes, so they're tumbling on the floor continuously. <laughs> I would, uh. I would just go straight to the, the, the top. I'd go straight to the <laughs> top. You'd tell uh, Mr. Trump? Yeah. <laughs> you'd say your country I'd is say, glitching Mr. Out. Trump, you gotta do something. The, the, the person's tumbling and it won't stop. And then he'd- he'd come over and he'd- And he goes over to the official White House keyboard and he opens the console <laughs> and types no clip again. And then, He's the one who and started then, it! <laughs> and then everybody who's in the White House, they all fall to the floor at the same time. The White House controls the world's gravity and shit. Just with one he, shitty he old says, keyboard. I'm out of here, and it goes through the floor with everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you pull the curtains out. You look outside, and there's a huge smear trail of everything because the skybox is screwing around with the fucking computer, and his whole CIA falls through the floor into the center of the world. <laughs> so yeah, what happens when you reach the center? I want to see Trump like flying around no clip and through like New York and shit <laughs> in a T pose. <laughs> <laughs> Just photorealistic. <laughs> Uh, I love tea poses. What was it? You were talking about- And then CNN does a story <laughs> says, How embarrassing, a tea pose? <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking idiot. All of his top tweets, he'd be like, I, I, I was tea posing today. Number, the top response is just some guy saying, Fucking idiot. <laughs> tea posing. <laughs> You're the president? <laughs> and then he says, Please don't judge me for- <laughs> 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 uh, oh, I like this. He, he makes one final tweet that just says no clip with a dash before it. <laughs> what, what? Everybody who reads it starts falling through their chair. <laughs> he scales down all the buildings in New York with all the people has, still inside. <laughs> he has a press conference and he starts like the the GTA mod. He picks up people from the crowd and throws <laughs> them across the room. <laughs> 
What if he did that thing, what I was doing in Space Station, where you right-click on somebody and shrink them 1% every yeah, few already. seconds? And so somebody, somebody <laughs> after a couple days, they notice that they're starting to shrink. There's a bunch of giant CIA uh, agents in the back of the room walking around aimlessly. <laughs> the Liberation Cult has installed oh, itself cult. in the Southwest. Oh, I love cults. And the like, I love... Like joining them. You want to make our own cult? <laughs> and worshipping uh, cult leader is what I mean. That's I mean. a really good, cool idea. <laughs> hey kids, very young children at home watching. <laughs> Cults are actually pretty cool. Your mom and dads have been lying. If you guys feel like you're outcast and you don't feel like you got a place, join a cult that you actually feel totally at home. And yeah, you'll feel really cool. You'll have a lot of money. And you'll be everything you want to be. <laughs> Whenever the world seems really fucked up and messed up, that's because... Guys, the moral of the story is when you don't feel... When you're not fitting cults. in, yeah. join an extremist group and you'll finally have belonging and purpose in this fucking world. Do you fucking Whether it get be this. political or ideological or, or, or religious or, or whatever. Or... Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad that we can actually use our platform to teach to people. To do good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's about time someone did Everyone, some good in this world. Everyone's always talking about, oh, Let's Play is so pointless, so oh, useless. Oh, Let's Play is for charity, um, dude. It, hey, oh, Let's Play is for charity. <laughs> you know what? Nobody cares. Because we're doing the good stuff here, all right? We make people laugh slash smile. Get over it. We indoctrinate young people We indoctrinate young children, and they buy our merch, and if they do, then we, we make them to buy more merch. So shut up. <laughs> if you don't like it, I don't even damn. Yeah, fucking, you, you still don't have the power we have, so whatever, dude. <laughs> well, I'm gonna open oh, people in the uh, boo thumbs down. <laughs> Maybe now people will finally get it. I just don't know. Maybe you fucking idiots, you shrimp brains, will watch a people play Hitman and talk about how you should join a cult. Maybe then you'll realize. Yeah. Well, we're the top dogs, and you're fucking underlings. You're on end beneath my boot, and you always will be. Okay, Trump. <laughs> But you slowly start turning into his voice towards you're the looking, end. You're looking at Hillary Clinton. She's an ant beneath my boot. <laughs> I wish, am a god amongst men. I wish he'd say that. <laughs> he needs to say more crazy I shit know, like I that. I wish he would do that. Do you think, uh, like, uh, like who is the most famous American president? Wait, like, wait, JFK? wait, no. I'm going to turn uh, red. I don't know. Yeah, Teddy Roosevelt, yeah. JFK. Do Probably you, JFK because he gets shot. Do you think if George halfway Washington? during their presidential, like, election thing, if one of them just accidentally just shat themselves and they were just like, I'm sorry, I I, I pooped my pants. I need to leave for now. But I would not be surprised if that shit happened at some point. You no, 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 but, but wasn't it, there like a press conference where like Lyndon B. Johnson was literally taking a shit during it? Isn't that like a thing? Or no, am I... no, but no, no, but, but my, my point is if, if halfway through he they admitted that and walked away, do you think they would still be president? Well, I mean, if we know it? about yeah. that somehow. No, so. no, what I'm saying is if they literally, in an alternate universe, JFK said, if, if they see I, uh, I, 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 I just pooped my pants. I, I need oh, to. Oh, yeah, took a shit by accident. I, I have to excuse myself. I'm sorry. Do you think that would have cost him the presidency? Yeah, yeah. You no, know, people would people would assume he's got some oh, sort fuck. of like medical disability or something. Mm. This guy's like this, like 41. He's like young too. So if he's shitty his okay, pants. Okay, okay. Instead of shitting his pants, what if he went? I, uh, I just made a wee from the excitement. I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Nixon, there, I uh, took a wee. Yeah, he. I be may fucked. have got overexcited and I made a wee. So I, what? I, 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 I think I think he yeah he'd be fucked he wouldn't be able to be president. I'm trying to think of the the, the least thing that would, he would barely the just get away with thing. it. Yeah, like he barely gets away with like maybe maybe a little a little snot falls out of his mouth and falls, oh. out of, falls out of his nose okay, okay. And, into his mouth and he oh. eats. <laughs> yeah. Do you think he? It's fucking do you, foul. Do you guys remember that? But he does it so fast you barely even notice. Oh. You think that would cost like him? a weird video where someone like. Video edited in like a fly going into Hillary Clinton's <laughs> eyeball or something. There is a video. There is a video, guys. Type in it. Hillary Clinton spits out egg. There's a video where I've she seen that. where she goes to drink a cup of water. There's like a big green alien oh. falls out. Big homunculus falls out into the cup. That's disgusting. Ah, shit. Hey, Musk, do you think Elon Musk's car is eventually gonna fall back to Earth and kill someone? <laughs> I think, it's, I think it's gonna fall on Brianna Wu. She was right the whole time. If it fell on Brianna Wu, at least she'd get a free Tesla. <laughs> she gets free vehicles all the time. She got a little motorcycle from her uh, Patreon. Uh, fucking motorcycle. Who the fuck? Right. She got harassed into that motorcycle. No, no, I don't want to get too far into Brianna Wu. Just type in Brianna Wu dust on Google. I don't dust. think anyone wants to get into Brianna Wu. Uh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Guys, just Google search Brianna Wu dust. It's the funniest picture you're ever going to see in your life. Dust? It's a picture of her. It's a, it's yeah, like a, it's her it's like deteriorating like a witch. She's turning to dust. No, no, she's, ah. in front of like, she's in front of uh, she's in front of like a, a big shelf full of like toys, and there's an inch of dust on every. It's disgusting. 
It's like a you full know what inch. they say though, right? It, most of dust is human skin. But but yeah. I, so I know she probably That's just not peels true. her face off in her free dust time. Dust falls from space in the tons. Also. Uh, Maybe she's trying to make her stuff uh, worth more. You know, if you have an antique and if it's covered in dust, it's worth more because people think it's older than it really is. That's why you fucking throw dust on yeah. stuff. Yeah. Get... That's why you scratch your head and let dandruff fall on it. You fucking scratch your <laughs> cubes. Dude. This is not a very well known regret fact, but um, Lou, Drew, Stu, and Andrew all have similar sounding names. Did you know that all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, their names are based on Hollywood actors? Like Leonardo is Holocaust named, after, survivors. named after Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> oh, Chris, oh, no. <laughs> the great Holocaust survivor, Raphael. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's yeah, why, uh, at, that's you, why the yellow one's name is Anne Frank. If you oh. look at the Adam Schindler's it's, list, it's all the It's Leonardo, Turtles Donatello, <laughs> Anne Frank, and Raphael. Anne Frank Turtle. <laughs> You're going to get shit for this. You're not supposed to make any jokes. I'm not saying nothing about this one. <laughs> I'm staying out what of What is she going to do? Write an angry letter in her diary mm. about me? She's going to send you an email from heaven. <laughs> I'm glad somebody finally put Anne Frank in her place. Somebody needs to take her down a fucking bag. Dude, I'm, I'm the Ben it. Shapiro of destroying Holocaust survivors you with my, guys, with my searing intellect. Call it, call it Lyle destroys Anne Frank. <laughs> Takes down Liptard Anne Frank. <laughs> Here's a new idea, you ready? Uh, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Mama, mama, that's what, a new idea. What, is <laughs> what a fucking sleep apnea toddler! That's your new uh, idea. Wait, listen, listen, listen. Hey guys, epic idea for a new season of. Uh... Listen, listen, mama. <laughs> Do you know the legend of that song in Lavender Town? No. A little dying boy who had cancer wrote it. It was his favorite song. <laughs> it gave me a tumor when I listened to it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it gave me an erection. <laughs> <laughs> who did the music for Pokemon? Koji uh, Kondo. I don't think it was. It wasn't. Nubu Matsu. He ran into a hospital with a microphone and recorded children <laughs> dying. And that is the sound font that, for the whole was, game. That was the, uh, the monitor hooked up to them. Going <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's pretty catchy. And them coughing is. <laughs> Everybody in the hospital is singing in unison. <laughs> he just bit crushed it. <laughs> bo bo bo, scoop it, ed. Collecting I've coins. Got an idea for look a new at website. me. Whoa, what? What is it? Yeah, I read it. It's like kind of a play of the words. Like, oh, I already read that. I read it. Yeah. What if you did it? What if you start a new website called Did It? And the whole website is just showing <laughs> stuff you did. It's like pictures like, hey, I I did it. I, uh, I like fixed the hole in my wall. Isn't that just Instagram? Except Instagram is like, I did it, but also I'm attractive. No, yeah, exactly. This is for ugly people. Okay. It's, it's, it's Instagram, for, but it's called Did It. And you say, like, you <sighs> post a picture of you with groceries and say, I, I did it. I got groceries. I did it. So, but it's a whole website that makes you feel good. We live in an age of positivity. Um,. You know, you want to feel positive, you want to feel good. So this site is just about... I'm going to stop talking about this. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> He's talking about building a little coddly community yes. so that he can feel good about well, his everyday good, choices. You feel good when you, when you finish something. You're like, oh yeah, I wrote my turn paper, I did it. Do you want to play some, Lyle? Uh, no, tr try the next level, and if you want, I can go back through the first one Lyle and beat it. I would prefer I make a fool of myself, Yeah. So. Look, I lost to the next boss, like, a fuck ton on stream, so I want someone else to do it, so that I, so that you I can be validated you that it's hard. You want to prove to your stream? Well, how about my stream? What'll they think? I don't know. Play it on your now, stream. Let me plug my stream. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash Tomomoto. He actually has a schedule. He does every Tuesday every and Thursday, Every Tuesday and right? Thursday at 8 p.m. Pacific, and which is 11, 11 p.m. Eastern. And if you donate over $1,000, he will be your friend IRL. That's not true. You get Tomar's phone number. <laughs> this is the Tomar's phone number perk. He adds you on Snapchat. Sends you spicy little videos. I call it Fep Chat. <laughs> Tomer, you should have a Twitch perk, right? There, if people donate over 50 grand, you, the chair dildo in your ass vibrates super hard. I don't like this idea. <laughs> Why not? You should have a Twitch perk called Perks for Perks, and there's like a little feeding tube, and it drops like a Percocet that in your mouth. That would be fucking amazing. Tomer, that could be your unique thing where you have like a hamster feeder above your head. I and, hate that. And if people donate, you get to eat. That would be so fucking cool. That's, that is the most self-deprecating. <laughs> you should do it. And it only, it only like, 
for fifty dollars, it gives you like a grain of sand worth of food. Yeah. So, so it really incentivizes people to donate. Yeah, and call them bits. Yeah. So, so it'd be like Twitch bits, and it's like every bit is like a grain of sand. Like you crush up like a box of I don't know, like raisin bran or yeah, something. Call right? Yeah, call them tomites. Yeah, yeah. I need my tomites. So I die. Should I hurt this guy? Uh, You're inside SpongeBob right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm glad you noticed. Yeah. That was how they incorporated. Uh, they did a deal to do one Nickelodeon property. A SpongeBob world would also be cool. Specifically, the episode when Plankton's in his head. Yeah. I appreciate that. That's cool. That's a very, uh, <laughs> very weird thing to reference for a stage. They would structure it so you come in and you land in the chum bucket, and you're like, yes, "What is would. this place?" Yes. And then pl uh, Plankton's like, "I am the nicest guy here." And Goofy go, I know who that is. That's Plankton from the Chum Bucket. <laughs> He's trying to steal the Krabby Patties yeah. recipe. <laughs> true. We'll never let you no, take you're it. you're wrong. First, he, he would fuck you over, and then Goofy would say, Wait a minute, I recognize him now that he's fucked us over. <laughs> then he would do that. <laughs> Then you would run outside. No, because they're abrupt about it. How they wouldn't, they wouldn't even it? dwell on it. They just go quick with it. Yeah, but then you'd and walk so outside. And so we'll never let you take it. There's not enough of them just standing silently. Plankton That's would true. chase you out with some like robot heartless yes. that he made, and then you'd run into the Krabby Patty hole. <laughs> you'd run into the Krabby Patty. <laughs> and then Mr. Krabs is like, <laughs> you need you need to do some work. And then you have to like mop the floor. Yeah, that would. After you do reaction commands, yeah. And you go sing and play and dance and play now. Come on in and mop the floor and take a swim. <laughs> mop the floor and take a swim. They had Tiny Tim play. You'd be in the, the back making the Krabby Patties. And then SpongeBob would walk in and fucking ruin Squidward's life somehow. <laughs> And then everyone would l laugh and go, ha ha ha, and stupid then squid would creature. show up to, to work the next day with his invisible chameleon to attack everybody. <laughs> Squidward and Plankton team up. But yeah, then at the end of me, it, well, you. At the end of <laughs> at the end of it, Plankton gets smushed, and then Squidward's like, I was under Plankton's spell. <laughs> <laughs> the darkness. And then the lock appears on Squidward's me. head, and you have to unlock him. Yeah. <laughs> You make his nose disappear. And no, no, no. It'd be Squidward's house or something. No, Squidward's like. It would be Squidward's house. No, that would be like the yeah, they get rid of it. No. They, they'd erase his house from existence. Okay, that's actually pretty clever. But I was gonna say that, uh. You know what? Yours is better. Never mind. I'm sorry, Chris. I was gonna say that, um. <laughs> when you, uh. When you bring Squidward to his senses, he'd be like. For, I'm, to repay you for saving me, I've made you this. I call it bold and brash. <laughs> and then, and it's a it's a keychain for your yeah, keyblade. So then that's when you you. I <gasps> would be so happy if that was a keyblade. I wish. <laughs> that would be the one item that Sora randomly throws away. <laughs> <laughs> he just throws in the trash. And then SpongeBob doesn't even come into it at all. <laughs> so the whole time was a waste of time. The first thing you would see in the world is like Patrick doubled over, just shaking, and he wouldn't say anything. He would just stand there and make faces at you, and then would run out of the shot. I think the Chum Bucket's a better place for it to start. It's dank and dreary. Then you get up in the open world of the Bikini Bottom. <laughs> yeah, and you can get in a vehicle and openly drive around a whole open world sandbox of Bikini Bottom. Yeah. Someone did that! They modded Simpsons Hit and Run and made it into a Spongebob game. That's a awesome. good idea, yeah. That's a lot of effort. Why did they never actually do that? I don't they, know. Well, no, I'm saying that's what they made, though. No, Someone like, why did like they not a, make an official game? They should have like done that, that where you drive around Bikini Bottom.